Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing Custom Hero Clash, which is made by Arcadia Redux. But we are playing it today because it recently got a big update that was mostly made by Luminance. And I thought it would be fun to give that a go. We are playing Party Megadeth, which is a custom version of the mode that is available to anyone. If you want to try it in the game, you just need to type it in a private lobby. Um, but what it does is it makes it so that the game moves a little bit quicker, where we all have one extra edges. But if we die in a duel ever, we lose it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the game. Okay, here we are. We got ourselves a shrug and I can immediately get post nowhere, which is fantastic. But oh, Eye of the Storm, Spirit Siphon. Oh, these are great too. Do I get Spirit Siphon? No. Do I get Eye of the Storm? Maybe? Can I get Pulse Nova anyway? Is this worth it? Ah, yes, okay. Yes, yes, it's fine. We got it. All right, perfect. I don't have an ability for the early game, so I just really hope we don't have to duel anyone. <laughs> but if we get to level six, we're gonna be great. Then we're gonna be in just great shape, fantastic shape. It'll not be a problem. And yes, uh, just to repeat, we are playing Party Mega Death, which means everybody has an extra Aegis, but you lose Aegis starting right away. All right? If you lose a duel, the first duel, you lose an Aegis. So it is a lot more intense in the early game. And unfortunately, that does mean <laughs> that does mean I have to be very Oh no, oh no, oh no, I have to be very lucky, but we weren't. That's fine. Okay. What can we get? Contrabandist. Blank Soul reduces magic resistance, status resistance. That seems really good for me. Parry. Whenever you attack, there's a 20% chance to perform an instant attack back on the attacker. Um, Sorcerer. Cascading Arcana. Each time you deal damage to an enemy with a spell, the magic resistance is reduced by 5%. That just feels like a worse Blank Soul if I'm on it. I'm losing this. That's fine. Increases outgoing damage by 60%. This bonus decreases by 1% every second after the round starts. Hmm. So how quickly does this do damage? This deals damage every 0.5 seconds, right? So that's... We deal three times a second with Cascading Arcana. I think Blank Soul is probably better. What do you guys think? I'm thinking Blank Soul is probably the way to go. Because it also reduces the magic resistance, right? And that just seems like a nice bonus. And and this, I need to deal 10 damage instances before I even get this to the same level as Blank Soul. And Blank Soul is like, add a default. Just, just seems better to me. There we go. That's Split Earth. I'm actually very happy about Split Earth. Because Split Earth is uh, gonna benefit from Blank Soul's both like both of its effect, uh, both of its effects, because you know it's a stun, and then also we get the Aghanim shard, which is great. What's this? During creep waves, you can still be attacked. Still provides physical damage immunity. Ancient creeps deal twenty percent bonus damage, which pierces physical damage immunity. I don't think you guys understand what immunity means. I have a lot of fortune. Have I been given fortune again? Every once in a while. Ding, ding. <laughs> I feel like every once in a while they give me a bunch of fortune, which I then only use to unlock stuff. I don't ever really use it for anything else. Oh, 20% evasion seems really good. Okay, okay. Oh no, I missed one. And then I get a second one, right? Um, crescendo, crescendo increases outgoing damage by 2% for every 10% HP. The target is missing. Goldfinger increases outgoing damage. Increases attack and cast range. Initiative. Grants movement speed and attack speed at the start of the round. Magician increases int. Spell vampirism increases my spell damage by 7.5%. I think that's probably the way to go, right? Okay, cool. Level this up. And we just chill. We don't really have anything else we can do here. We should do some gambling. I haven't really been doing that. All right, guys, I'm going to need you to group up a little. There you go. And now we have our abilities. Now we can fight. Now we are strong. Let's go. Let's do this. We can tackle things. <clears throat> Oh, do you have any religion? No, no, I'm not religious in any way. I, uh, 
I find myself with a very passive brand of atheism, if that makes sense. Where I feel like atheism is, is like even too strong a word for the way I feel. Where I personally feel that I just, I just don't care. I don't want to think about it. I just don't. I, I, agnosticism? No, agnostic means that I'm not sure. Agnostic means that I don't, you know, like, I don't know which one. No, I don't believe at all in anything. Like, I believe as much in a god as I believe in Santa Claus. That's the same level to me. They both seem equally absurd. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be offensive to anyone. But, you know. But... It's not that I am actively ever thinking about it. In my day-to-day -day life, in my normal lived experience, I just never even think about it. That's it. That's how I feel. It just doesn't... It's not something that comes up to me. It's not something that really matters to me. Yeah. What do you think happens when people die? What, what, what do you think happened? What, what, was, what was life like before you were born? I think you just disappear back into the void. And I know that's not the most like comforting thing, but that doesn't mean it doesn't make uh, makes any less sense, you know? I just come, we just go where we came from. It's just to nothing. Anyway, sorry. Maybe it is a little spicy of a thing to talk about. And again, I don't mind if anybody else believes. I actually have no beef with that. That's, again, that's like, that's that falls into that same category of like, the way I would describe my atheism. That's just kind of like, I just don't care. <laughs> right? There's atheists out there that are very upset with theists. And I, I am not, I fully understand why you would want to believe something. I understand the comfort. Like, I can see that. I understand it. I... I can appreciate the, the logic behind it all, but it just doesn't work for me, right? Do we get Chakram? I have so... I, I'm going to get Chakram. Look at my... Look at my thing. I am Torture Pipe City. <laughs> That's what this is. I have four ultimates that get affected by Torture Pipe. And That's my plan. All right. Cascading Arcana. Ooh. I think... I don't think this... I don't think this dude has any way to deal damage. Okay, I'm gonna gamble here. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I'm gonna gamble. Tidehunter has only slash. So what? You've got freaking untouchable and shit. What's the Tidehunter gonna do? Also, did he even skill this yet? You need to attack. Oh dear, you need to attack, friend. No, no, no. Don't run. <laughs> no, that's how you lose. You need to be going in. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, because the only way the uh, alchemist loses this is if he waits until the tight hunter. Why are you not attacking? Okay, I guess you're fine. The dude doesn't have mana anymore. Does this burn mana? Is this a thing that burns mana? No, why does he have not, not have any mana anymore? Okay. Because the only way the alchemist loses is if the tide hunter waits until the very end of the duel and then Omni slashes. And if they're both full HP at that point, then there's a very high chance the tide hunter wins. So that's the one thing you really want to avoid, which means it's, you want to be going in. It's very important that you are going in. Okay, we'll get Tumblr's toy. Bones. Very good. Anyway, let's let's move on from that topic. Apologies, I don't know. I know it's a bit of a sensitive subject matter for some people, but I don't even really get that. I don't even get why it's such a sensitive subject matter. But ultimately, as I already mentioned, I don't. It's not something that I really ever think about in my day-to-day -day life, and I'm perfectly content with not doing that. <laughs> you know, maybe I always hear that later in life you eventually, you know, confront yourself with that. And sure, if that's what happens, then later in life that can happen. Whatever. Well, for now we're chilling, though. For now we're taking it easy. Doesn't it mean your life is meaningless if there's nothing in afterlife? No! That means it's, like, even more meaningful, isn't it? That is an argument I don't understand. If this is all we got, isn't this what matters the most? Doesn't that make everything so much more important, so much more valuable? 
We are here for a limited time. Better make the most of it. And... Yes! Talking about that. Crushing it, dude. Torture pipe 2, sick. Alright, we start working towards Sky Staff. There's now Celestial Sange and Celestial Yasha. Um, which uh, you always should go for Celestial Sange. It's just kind of better. Uh, 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 I'm just the janitor around here. And uh, it's been a hard day. But you know what's even worse than a hard day? When somebody watches a YouTube video and doesn't leave a like on it. Unbelievable kids these days. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, here we go. Let's grab ourselves this. Okay, but I seriously, I'm kind of putting, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and put an end to this one now. I don't want people to get upset with me. Right, again, please don't take this as me necessarily disrespecting anyone. I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind anybody's faiths. I don't mind anybody's beliefs. Uh, so long as they're, of course, not being imposed upon anybody without their consent. That's something that would be a problem. Okay, um, this is also a problem. I, I'm not sure what we do here. Uh, I guess we just kind of... Oh, okay. That's what we do. Go, 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 go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> we probably shouldn't have won that, but I feel really good that we did. I'm going to go ahead and buy a Ghost Scepter right now, just so I got that figured out. And then um, the... When Sand King nice. is going up against Have this nice dude. Day. Sand King has what? Perry? Going up against the healer. I feel like the healing is just so strong right now. Alright, go get him, Alchemist. Hey, Drunken Squirrel, thanks for the 12 months. Thank you very much for the year. Appreciate it. And have a nice day to you as well, my friend. Okay. Yeah, the healer is just like... It's a lot of healing. Look at this. Look at this Alchemist just being full HP. And ultimately, that's fine. Like, that's all you need. Good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> I mean, I'm generally a very... Um, how do I put this? Uh, I'm a very passionate person, I guess. Like, I have strong interests and strong feelings and I want to I want to do a lot of things, right? I want to do a lot of things, I want to you know, experience a lot of things, I want to be you know, going through life with open eyes in a way. And that's also why I am so... I mean, you guys you guys know me a little bit at this point, right? And you guys know that I always have to have something that I'm doing. And, like, legitimately, this is, like... like <laughs> this is a very, like, strong emotional need that I have. Is this feeling of I need to be doing something with my time. Because I always want to make sure that I'm not wasting it. Right? Because I see it as very precious. Okay. I'm going up against a dude. Uh, I will buy, I think, my Aghanim Shard right now. And then we'll buy a Sky Staff. And we're just chilling. We're just chilling. Yes. Nice. I mean, honestly, it's very simple right now. I think people are severely underestimating our damage output. Which works for me. Yes, this mod has had some minor reworks recently. So there's now Celestial Sh Celestial Saint, which gives us the spell amp. Uh, no longer gives spell I steal, which I think makes a lot of sense. I always thought that was a weird thing they did, where they incorporated spell I steal into the uh, like spell amp thing. It's just so easy to get it that way. Also, I do a little bit of damage, don't I? I do a little bit of damage. What motivates you? Well, I, I gotta be doing things. I don't really motivate myself. 
I, motivation is bullshit. Like, first of all, like, motivation is not useful. I find motivation as a whole very, very useless, right? Uh, because this concept of motivation to me is this concept of, like, ah, now I feel like I, now I feel like I have this, like, exterior impulse to do things. Um, but, you know, that's fickle. That goes away way too quickly. That doesn't work long term. To me, what's much more valuable and what I think works a lot better is kind of like interior motivation. It is this idea of, okay, I am like, not motivation, interior discipline, this, this interior feeling of like, I got to do things because I got to do things, because I have goals, because I want to be going somewhere. I don't want to be stuck here forever. That's why I've been so frustrating. That's why I've been so frustrated with not having been able to move. I mean, I've talked about this a few times as well, right? But like, I've, I've been wanting to move for a very long time, but I found like we've always been in a situation where we've been unable to, but now it's finally fucking coming and I'm so excited about it. Like, I am genuinely longing for it. Every single day I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm waiting for it, right? And that's because it means change it means things are gonna be going forward right and things are like honestly things in my life are changing right now like and i don't know where it's headed and it's really scary but in a way it's also nice in a way it's also kind of fun right um because like frankly speaking my youtube and my twitch channel right now they're not doing well they're doing the worst they ever have they've been stable for quite a few years but recently they have dipped by like 50 percent I think Twitch was in large part because I had internet issues for like two months, which is shit, right? That's a really big problem. Um, nothing I can do about that now, right? And and YouTube, it's just, you know, it's just the ebb and flow, all right? People come, people go, and it might be my time to go. But I'm, I'm don't worry, I'm not leaving just yet. You're not getting rid of me that quickly. But you get what I mean, right? But change is probably coming. And for me, that's really interesting because now I'm wondering, like, where am I going to go? And I am trying, I'm setting up the new YouTube channel and hoping that that will do well. And if it does well, great, then I just focus on that. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere here. We keep this going. Um, but if it doesn't, then maybe I have to, maybe that's that's when we say goodbye, right? I I'm, wouldn't I wouldn't be happy to do that, uh, but we'll we'll see. That's where I'm actually really lucky that I've always had this kind of motivation or I keep using that word, but it's an easy word to use. That's why I'm lucky that I've always had this like feeling of like, I need to go and do things. I need to improve myself. I need to work on things. I need to acquire skills, right? Um, because like I have been doing that. I believe at least that I've been working on skills, that I've been acquiring knowledge and capabilities. I've been building a portfolio of exterior work. So even if I have to leave YouTube behind, I'm not in a situation where I have to then, you know, like somehow figure out, okay, well, shit, I don't have any actual skills. What do I do with myself? And that, that will be a problem. But luckily, that's not uh, very likely at the current stage because, uh, you know, I know how to do some stuff. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, sorry, we're playing a video game. So, uh, who are we gambling? I haven't been gambling, but that's because I've been just like doing okay, but I should probably gamble a little bit. Oh, this guy has less money, but is, I think, much stronger? No. No, you know what? I'm going to take a bit of a small but risky gamble and you'll see. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing is just like, we are so absurdly powerful here. It's crazy. Okay, Sand King. You just need to live through that. You just need to live through that. Do you have Spell Eye Steel? <gasps> ah, okay. Well, I'm glad that I didn't gamble more than what I did. Here's my Bloodstone. Thank you very much. In psychology, I read something recently that says usually motivation is short term, but the most important thing is discipline and habits. What I, what really works for me, what I find to be very beneficial to me, um, is very specific goals. Right. Um, so when I want to work on the project, I basically always say, "Oh, I am doing this much work today," and oftentimes those specific goals I set at a bare minimum. 
they are supposed to be easy. The goal of my goals is to fulfill them. So for example, when I was working on Alex, I said I need to do two levels a day. But that is my like high goal. My low goal was to edit one level, which I defined as literally opening up the level editor of a level and looking at it. And that's it. And I found that what my low goal does, what my easy goal does, is it gets me in. Now I'm already in the fucking level editor. I might as well go and do something, right? Like I'm already here. And what my high goal does is it makes it so that every day I'm chipping away at it. Even if it's not that much. Even if it's not that much that I'm doing, I'm chipping away at it. And turns out, two levels a day, hey, if you do that a hundred days in a row, that's 200 levels. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. Uh, there's new creep waves, by the way. Uh... Although I can't show them to you because they keep dying too quickly. <laughs> they seem to appear uh, and disappear immediately, so I can't even pick up these. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is actually somebody who is kind of challenging. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I think this is the first time we're going up against somebody that might actually be a threat. All right. No! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> ah, god damn it. Oh, that was so close. That was really really close. All right, give me give me my my thing. I have 62 of these. I have no idea where I got 62 from. The last time I played this, I had like five. But, I don't know, maybe they gave out a bunch, or maybe maybe somebody gave me one. Like, it, it, when I say somebody gave me one, um, I do mean that there's very much a possibility that, like, like Luminance, for example, just gave me a bunch of shit, because she occasionally does that. Um, that's why I also have 70,000 of this. I, I started out with 69,420. <laughs> now I have 72,000 because I've, you know, just unlocked some stuff. I've never used any of it. I don't know what it's for. I don't care if I'm completely honest. Um, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's get Aghanims. That way we have another button. Oh my god. Okay, um, we have too many buttons. We don't need this button, I think. So we have we have nihilism now. So we have ethereal. We have ethereal from the ghost scepter. Yeah. I mean Doom is strong. I shouldn't be underestimating the power of Doom. We should uh I mean like why are you the Ursa just gotta attack. You have Fury Swipes. Just hit. Right? Oh, no. <gasps> Damn, Hila. Okay. Hila is really coming in. What's this? Cruel Stars. Oh, that's the Mjolnir omelet combination that now exists. Yeah, that's a new thing. We should maybe try out some of these new items sometime, but... Well, not not today, not with our current hero. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ursa not a shred of life steal. It really didn't feel like it, but I don't know, maybe Ursa just didn't have enough attack speed. Where is the Ursa, anyway? There you go. No, there's actually no lifesteal there. Buddy, come on, get some lifesteal. <laughs> You're Ursa. You gotta get some lifesteal. It's just, that's not... It's not a good idea to go without lifesteal on that hero, I think. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I have some faith in healer. I mean, like, that dude over there is just crushing it with that. Alright, alright, BKBs are active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, axis. Ooh, no. Oh, no. Oh, don't just sit on top of it. Okay. All right. Little bit of advice. Against Dev Prophet's ultimate, you don't want to sit on top of it because it deals the most damage, the clo or like it deals more damage if you're closer to the Dev Prophet. So being right on top of it is the worst place to be. That's where you will be dying. Okay. All right. Just okay. We got Doom, but I'm fine. Maybe. Ah. <gasps> no, I'm not fine. Holy. Really, that didn't. Damn. Fuck. All right, we are out of. Oh, we're out of juice, kind of. I mean, we don't have any more. We don't have any more edges. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have chased there. Maybe I should have just like stayed away. I thought for sure that I had a somewhat decent chance. I don't know. I'm not really using all of my abilities, but it's difficult against Doom, right? All right. Good. <clears throat> but I should have used my chakrams, just like throw them out there so that they are active, and then you know hopefully they connect or something. Okay, this time around the dude has. The dude has some uh, spell ice. Not spell ice, some actual ice steel here. So, um. Alright. Go get him, Ursa. You beat me? So you can beat them. Still have two free re re rolls. I do have re rolls, yes, but I don't really have anything to re roll, right? Like, what, what would I re roll? I like my build. I think my build is cool. I suppose Eye of the Storm isn't that great. Okay, good. Ursa won. Very nice. So we have a Shiva Scarred now. But I think, honestly, instead of getting more ability... Ah, maybe I should get another ability. It's just expensive, but we probably do want to save up for it. Okay, Omni Slash. I'm not worried about this. I think this is a this is fine. This is fine. Right? That's fine. What's the what's what's the juggernaut gonna do? I have so much ethereal. It'll be okay. Alright, there's one. And there's two. <laughs> yeah. There's just not much the Juggernaut can do. Okay, let's get ourselves 29 gold. Alright, we'll get it after this. No way. There is no way this Venomancer wins, right? Am I going to regret this? I might. But I don't think there's any chance the Venomancer wins. I have no idea how that could happen. Yeah, no way. No way. Okay. Book of Paragon. We get another ability. Force Promise is very, very good. Doesn't work against. I mean, it kind of works against Doom. I can cast it before getting doomed. It's another button. <laughs> it's just a problem. I think I get it. I think I get false promise. Okay. Um, I am running quite out of buttons. Um. So I would say we re-roll this member. It just it's just gonna open up some space. Okay. We can get spirits, which would be fun because I'm doing the IO video right now, and it will give us three more buttons. <laughs> but we don't have to use them. <laughs> hey Pika buddy. Say thanks for the 65 months. Or we could re-roll. I mean, we do have our two re-rolls. We might as well use them. Oh, Firestorm is so good. I don't need it. I actually don't think I need Firestorm. I like Cold Embrace. Vendetta? Stainless? Well, with Vendetta, we could have borrowed. But I don't think we need that. 
I like being, I like moving a bit more here. Okay, we've got, oh wait, oh shit, it's a button. Oh crap. Oh no. Uh, do I like any of this? Not really, but I guess it's detection. I think I get rid of Eye of the Storm. I know I was excited about it earlier, but it just doesn't actually do anything. Alright. I can self-doom. So, I'm gonna, I need to, I'm just gonna, like, click cast Doom, I think. Right? Well, what should I click cast? Because I have, I, I have, I don't have enough buttons. I, I was, I just, <laughs> I'm just running out of buttons. <laughs> Oh no, I don't know what to do, friends. <clears throat> Who wins this? Yes. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I love it. Do it again. <laughs> I think you need to turn off the the bulwark. Like you can't attack while you're bulwark, so I don't think you can use Omni Slash during bulwark. Can you? You won? Wow. Oh, great. Okay, I have to fight the hardest dude. Um, fun. Alright, let's get this. And I think I buy a Yules. Just to, like, have an additional layer here. I have a plan. It's to self-cast Doom. <laughs> and then you can't do anything anymore. Get out of here. <clears throat> Very good. I'm definitely keeping us just upgraded. <sighs> I'm guessing that the Doom wins. I really... Do I need Chakram? I know I liked it, but like I really feel like Pulse Nova actually does so much damage that it's enough. I don't I don't need I don't need it. I don't I don't think the Chakram does anything. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Heavenly Grace. Hoof Stomp. I think Hoof Stomp is funnily enough actually the best one there. Just discard it. Oh, I was excited if it was... Uh, dude, if this was int. Okay, good news, everybody. We've got buttons. We've got buttons. We found them. We found them. We found the button. Buttons. Alright. <laughs> they were in a garbage bin somewhere, but we did find them. So we're good to go. What's this do? No, it's like it's just an urn but bigger. Hello. Sorry, buddy. Didn't even need to do anything. Alright, let's re-roll the fleshy. Lightning storm, plague. It's all terrible. Trample. I mean, like, at least it's an ability, right? 
It's not just Urn, it shuts down Ice Steel. Okay, so it's Spirit Vessel. I mean, like, I assume that, yes. Oh, Bulwark. I don't think I actually care. Do I care about Bulwark? It's like, it's not like I'm getting attacked. I feel like Heartstopper Aura might be better, but Heartstopper Aura is just kind of a bad ability. Sorry, I know that's that's a bit harsh and it's not what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. Heartstopper Aura is kind of shit. Okay, friends? I don't know if everybody here is aware of that, but this is a bad ability. In terms of damage output, in terms of laning sustain, it's a great ability. But if it comes to damage output, it's kind of shit. Alright, I think it's Edict. Edict fixed, fits our style anyway, like, our style of clicking a button and everything around us dies, right? <clears throat> Although now I feel a little silly because I've got three the Shrug abilities. <laughs> hey, you always just end up playing whichever hero you picked, right? You always just end up as either the Shrug or Ursa or Tarot Blade or whatnot. Enigma, Shadow Shaman. Okay. Oh, you have a lot of money. Ba -ba -ba. We probably want to equip a BKB, just so we have one in case, and then in case we need it. Right, depends a bit on which opponent we are fighting, but I'm sure there's going to be one where BKB will be helpful. And then we probably want to buy an Aeon Disc for the pretty much exact same reason. And then... Uh, I think we just start buying stats. Okay, Door Eater versus Max. I really don't think... I just... The summon builds are so powerful. It's very, very hard to win against them. You just gotta be really, really good at the video game and very smart and handsome and just be a great person at talking about things who knows a lot of stuff. Only then could you beat a summoning build like that in a duel. So, it's difficult, you know. Not everybody fits the criteria. Alright. Gonna go out and fight Rashan. It's kind of wild that Dory is still in this. But maybe not so much longer anymore at this point. Hello, friend. Nice. Oh, I'll get a Book of Shadows. I like that. Can turn things... Silenced, muted, and disarmed. Which is actually good for me, because I, I, you know, I don't mind. I'm just doing AoE damage. Alright, Paul Snowball just hits stuff around me. You know, it always surprises me how big Paul Snowball's AoE is. It's like actually massive, right? 525. Is that his attack range? A little less, a little less than attack range. Okay. Alright. BKBs, we're going up against those. I think this is fine. I mean, there's a lot of healing there, which is a problem, potentially, but, um... Yeah. There's no Lincolns. So I can't just Doom, right? If I just hit a Doom, it'll be fine. Hello. I have disappeared. You know, I have this ability here, the Split Earth, but so far it's not really been that important. We will buy... I think I will buy both Strength and Int. And I want both, just so I have some extra sustain. I think a little bit of extra HP is always appreciated. Okay. <clears throat> Despair. Nice. Ooh, the Doom. 
Not enough, not enough, not enough at all. Yesterday in Customer Clash, I got in Walker Spirit, and once I clicked the button, Dotto crashed. Oh, that sucks. It's always like a bit of a problem with custom games, right? It's that they are not necessarily flawlessly created, and so you sometimes run into issues. I recently lost a custom, not, uh, I recently lost an ability arena game because I was going up against a Medusa that had Essence Shift and uh, Slaughter Bash, Bash of the Deep, right? So she kept perma bashing my heroes. I'm like, okay, it's fine. I am building up Uproar because Uproar at max level triggers. And then it sends out the Aghanim Scepter effect and breaks everything. So I get there. I get my level 9 Uproar. And we go into a fight. And Uproar triggers. I destroy the Medusa. Everything is great. And I was like, cool. I win the Snobby. Except that was the last time that fucking Aghanim Scepter effect worked. And for the rest of the game, Uproar would still trigger. Just not that Aghanim's effect. And then I lost. And... Um, and that was kind of disappointing, I gotta say. That was, that, was, uh, that, was, that was some bullshit. What the fuck was up with that, Suns fan? <clears throat> Suns fan, you, you owe me some MMR. I, I, I gotta be honest. I, I, feel like, I feel like that's just not acceptable. I, I am owed that MMR. And I do want it. I want to be clear here. Give it. Give it now. <laughs> hey, let's see what we can do against this fella. I mean, honestly, it should be an easy win. This is going to come down to me and Max, I feel. Alright. Yep, sure. Sure. There's the BKB. Edict. Finish that. Damn. Let's go, Edict. 143 explosions. <laughs> well, that's quite a bit now, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the Mars is struggling, yeah. Mars is not making it much longer. Oh no, I'm sorry, Black, Black Egg. Immediately has to fight again. That is a little unfortunate. You can reroll Split Earth. I think we want to keep it. At this point, there's not much we can get that will be more effective. And it's not like it does, or it's not like it has done so much in this game. It's not like it's been effective up to this stage. But it is the kind of thing that I think only becomes more effective the longer the game goes. No way. You gotta get close! Why are you so far away? You won! Well, I mean, that just means you're just a, a wonderful... <laughs> a smart, handsome person right there. <laughs> Damn, I did not expect that. Sick. Clean kill there. Uh, the Mars is still in rough shape here with the loser's curse. Ooh. Okay. Now we gotta fight a, a gay bunch of uh, tomatoes. I'm surprised it's called Rainbow Road and not gay tatoes. Gay, gay tomatoes. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Hey, this is fine, because this is absolutely the kind of shit that, uh, that Luminance, the person who made this, would pull. Seer Stone. Uh, I don't know, I'm not vibing with any of this. Alright, Mars is done. So, against the, um... Against the uh, Shadow Shaman, I think we need an Aeon Disc, not Armor. Alright, let's do it. This is, where this is where things get interesting. 
This is where things get tough. Hey, Chris989898. Thanks for the six months. Appreciate it. You do not have a necrobug, which is actually a really big deal. So detection, there's no detection. I can immediately slam false promise and I'll be fine. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Nice. So there is detection in that arena already. Does this give detection? No. Okay, I have no idea how that dude found me, but we got it. Clean win. Not a problem. Okay, another duel. Well, let's just keep him going. Let's just keep him coming. Hey, Coco. How are you doing? Oh, hello, Coco. Yes, very good cat. And done. You shouldn't. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. I was about to say you should not step into my uh, Doom AoE, but then I got feared. Can't use items. Either. It's Doom. It's AoE Doom. Can't do anything. Yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Although, I don't know how many, like, I don't know how quickly I can actually expect Max to be knocked out here. Since uh, summon builds are not as affected by by the uh, debuff. And there we go. Alright. One more time, one more go. Santa Maria Grand Swaler starts with the changes. I I know. I'm not saying you aren't affected. I'm saying you're less affected. Everybody is affected by the debuff. Listen to the nuances of my language. Okay. Ah, uh, you don't want to do that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. If you stand still, I get a doom. And if you're doomed, you're dead. Hey, thank you, Duncan Roll. Don't worry about it. It'll all be fine. Everything will always be good. And, except for the Shadow Shaman, I think that guy is dead. Hey! And what round is it? Nice. Very good. Now I think that is a good moment to end it. Look at that. That was a cool game. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys had some fun with it as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We we'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.